Hello Internet, this is Handsome Dan, and we are playing Freeways. Uh, it's a little indie game uh, that uh, tickles one of my fancies, uh, uh, and that is designing road networks. Uh, if we zoom out to the map, you see uh, this is the first, uh, first map that they ask us to build, and you can see they, they even give signs, names to the roads. It was 106 westbound, 106 eastbound, and uh, 6 coming in. And if you click on these signs, it shows you where most of the travelers want to go. Uh, from 101 west, they want to go to 101 east. From 101 east, they want to go to 101 west. And from 6, they want to go to both. Now, this is actually a, quite an easy design to do. And they give us the ability to make bridges. Well, not supposed to be that crooked. And now the whole network is complete. And which means every place can get to every other place. If they can't, it'll flash. Uh, then we press this, this uh, stopwatch. It stimu simulates a bunch of traffic and it gives us an efficiency rating. 244 is, you know, seems reasonable to me. Uh, it the re rating is based on traffic flow and how much concrete you use. Bridges take more than regular roads, uh, but even regular roads, if you use an excess, uh, concrete used is going to be high. So we go back out, we choose a new intersection, and here we have two freeways that cross. 101 wants to go to all three. All three seem, or all four of these seem to want to go to all three. Um, now it seems to me that the easiest thing to do. is design a good old fashioned Cloverly. You actually do want to try to limit the number of, of sharp turns that your drivers take because it does slow them down, which is going to uh, uh, reduce your efficiency rating. For example, that might be too tight a turn. All right, now if we give this a minute uh, for traffic to clear, Matter of fact, why don't we push the stopwatch? Okay, Stop, the stopwatch uh, starts the traffic over here. And as Cloverleafs go, that moved pretty quickly. So we got uh, uh, 79 kilometers an hour uh, with a complexity factor of 36. I actually don't know how the complexity factor is computed. But anyway, 440 seems like a really good efficiency to me. And then it gives us a, uh, if we do a pretty standard design, it gives us a picture of a real interchange out in the world. I've been to Lansing, Michigan, so uh, this, I've probably been through this cloverleaf. Uh, there's a few possibilities of where it could actually be. Um, one of the good guesses would be uh, the intersection of I-69 and US-127. That's a good possibility, but it's probably not that. Anyway, so we go on to the next uh, map, and my goal for this video is to do these nine maps. See, most of the traffic from the north wants to go to the east, and they don't want to do much of anything. Most of that traffic wants to go to the north. So... My thinking is traffic pretty easy and then on this side let's see probably something like this
Right, I feel like the green is uh, already kind of backing up a little bit. Let's see what kind of throughput we get when we hit the stopwatch. Looks pretty good. 389, I'm going to go with that. And how about down here? Again, looks like most of the traffic wants to go through. And most of these guys seem to want to go north or south. And then not much traffic is going to be generated out of here. Still seems to me that the easiest way to do this would be a cloverleaf, though. See, that's probably going to slow them way down. If you see a green car, or sorry, a red car, yeah, come out of here, you'll see them slow way down to make that turn. And that's just um, bad drawing on my part. It's just done with the mouse, the drawing. Okay, green cars couldn't seem to be able to make that. Got a full clover leaf. We hit the simulate button, the stopwatch. Seems to be flowing pretty well. The blue might be backed up a little bit, but 377. That's pretty good. Um, I think this might end up being a mess. What if we can like simulate a clover leaf here? Uh, let's see if they have to turn too sharp here. I may I might start over. Yeah, that's too sharp a turn. Do, I'm going to actually go around this way. To give myself room for a cloverleaf. Oh, this is interesting. This is kind of backwards. Um, huh. So like like a normal clover leaf, I would go around like this and then up, but it doesn't go up, it goes down. All right, let's just draw and see what we end up with. If we have to start over, we have to start over. That's probably a really sharp turn. Let's see what this green car does. Yeah, it slows way down. All right, what am I missing? Okay, that can go everywhere. This can't. I mean, 
this part's easy enough. So yeah, so now purple cars can come out here. I can think of to get from this road to here is a big old loop. Okay, now from here to the blue. I might have to do basically the same thing. That's a mess. I have a feeling it's not going to be a very good efficiency. Which it seems to be moving. 439. All right, I'm going with it. Huh. An interesting thing about this is we, you look in the lower right, we have no access to bridges. So I think that is pretty much... limiting us to a roundabout this time. I personally don't care for roundabouts. I feel like I'm always watching for cars. Like they can come at me from any direction. Uh, but I don't see another way to do this particular level. I see it's already kind of clogging up with traps. We simulate it. Six thirty. All right, never mind. And, and here it gives us a, a picture, a uh, dumbbell interchange. This says East England. A YouTuber I follow uh, was talking about one of these in his, not in his neighborhood, but in his general area, um, where a lot of the side streets were, you know, a lot of the parts of the, the um, roundabout were, were blocked off. So that, for example, to, let's see, yeah, they get off on the left. So to get off here, you actually, for no reason, because these roads weren't here, so you had to go around like that for no reason. But, okay, let's go to the uh, next map. Seems pretty equal all the way around. Now this is water. You can bridge over water. Uh, but you can't, like, if you try to do that, you, you just crash into houses. Uh, you just crash into trees, uh, but you can bridge over water. And I think I'm going to do that on this side. But this side is going to go a little more spread out, which means... that that we can do that we can do that and on this side I think we're going to have to do a double bridge or a triple bridge
that would be a heck of a hill to do in real life. All right, let's simulate. Three seventeen. That seems to be reasonable. Something that would be nice to be able to do would be double lanes or triple lanes, but that's not an option. And let's do the last one we're going to do on this map. Uh, does this also need a roundabout? I mean, if we consider it a, uh, um, well, let's just experiment. Oh, I don't have access to bridges. All right, let's start over. I guess we have to do a roundabout. Oh, and the roads here are backwards. Ah, I messed up. And unfortunately, there's no erase, so we just have to start over. And I'm going to I'm going to go the what seems like a normal way to me. Cuz this is the way in this 20 south. This is the way that uh, divided highways are designed in the US, so it's what I'm used to. So, that's really slow, the uh, greens that have to turn off of there. Oh, I feel like this isn't going to be efficient at all because of things like this. Couldn't even jam up completely. It didn't. And we got a 381, which we've accepted in other maps. I think we can do better, though. So, and the reason I, I, I um, wanted to do that is to give us an opportunity to do that more smoothly. Now let's see what happens with a green, what a green car through here. I feel like this is still going to be slow. The exit's fine, and then that's slow, and then that's slow. That's not bad, purple coming on. Slow, slow through there. Actually, they look like little happy faces. I'm just now noticing that, that all of these, like if you look at that blue one right now, it looks like a happy face. All right, let's see what we get. What did we get before, 381? Well, that's worse, but I actually sort of like it better. What's the pick this time? I wasn't aware there was a big old traffic circle in Long Beach. Well, now I know. Uh, if you know this area, let me know in the comments. Uh, built in 1930, I assume it's got to be not only pretty close to downtown, but pretty close to wherever the L.A. Coliseum is. Um, the upcoming, well, at this point upcoming, who knows when you watch this, but the 2028 Olympics are supposed to be in L.A., the L.A. Coliseum is going to be the only the third time that um, 
So it'll be the third time that that's, that arena is used for the Olympics, which is a, an Olympic record. Uh, now, if we go out to the map, you see that uh, we've opened a whole nother layer of um, maps we could do. What does this do? Does this simulate everything? Oh, it just gives us stats. Everything from 317 here, or I guess 244 here is the lowest. But it shows us the traffic on the whole network. This is a problem to me. If we don't have access to bridges, though, what do we do about it? I'm going to try something. Regular roundabout there. And then up here, but this actually might be good enough, just being this far away from that. And then this, a lot of people from this 20 want to go to the blue, so let's take them off the roundabout entirely. looks good. This is still a sharp turn, but not as sharp as it could be. Ooh, that's a double sharp turn. How many people want to go to purple? Hardly any there. Bunch there. Well, we can make that a... Uh shortcut these guys mostly want to go to red which is fine these guys mostly want to go to blue looks like the green here is the bottleneck without access to bridges i don't think we can do anything about it It also seems weird that if you're on this 20 coming south, that you would then want to go out this 9 to the northwest. It's like, not quite a 180 degree turn, but close. This might be the best we can do, this general concept. Three fifty nine. that's about what we've had. All right, well, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I'll probably do another batch of maps for the next video uh, on this channel. Um, subscribe if you're enjoying this. And let us know. Give us an idea what the what should be the next game that we play, uh, play on this channel. Um, you know, these sorts of building games are quick. Uh, they're casual friendly, but there's a bit of strategy involved if you'd like there to be. Uh, until then, Internet, we will see you next time. Have fun, don't work too hard, and good night.